Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Meena, and today I will discuss about a very, very interesting case related to a how hackers ex extorted 1.14 million from University of California, San Francisco. That attack was happened in June 1st, and in today's session, I will discuss about it and. Uh, uh, in the end of this session, I will ask a question which you need to give answer to me. Okay, so let's start today's session. As per the report of generated by Sony Wall, Sonic Wall, and uh, that report was 2020 global cyber attack trends from January to September 2020. Okay, as you can see here, the uh, some malware attacks decreased by 39% and rest of the attacks continuously increasing. Okay, So, here is the ransomware attack that is 40% increased during this time duration. Okay, So, different kind of attacks continuously increasing day by day and that University of California, San Francisco that is also become the victim of it okay let's see what was the negotiation happened between them okay so the net worker was the uh, group criminal group that was behind that attack okay and they just attacked on university of california san francisco uh, on first june on the website of uh, their networker uh, blogs they just uh, found some information that was uh, related to the universities and that university uh, information uh, could be very very dangerous uh, for them so that uh, they just uh, forced the university to pay them 1.14 million dollar okay and this that's that is the negotiation that happens uh, the Cyber criminal site, the uh, attacker is saying, uh, uh, Hi, UCSF, that was the University of California for San, San Francisco. Okay, don't be shy. We can work together on the current incident. Okay, because uh, uh, the IT department of the university, they just found some kind of attack is happening on their network and they're just trying to uh, switch off the devices so that it cannot be separate to the rest of the network okay and uh, uh, they just uh, uh, ask the uh, net blo networker blog public blog just whatever the information you have shared on your blog please just remove it okay and uh, they uh, after six hours, they uh, hide that information and uh, said to the universities now, uh, university negotiator, yes, uh, we will uh, continue the discussion and let's discuss about what amount you need to pay. Okay. And they demanded 3 million from the university. Okay. So uh, they encrypted the data with the that's a ransomware kind of attack okay and uh, uh, the negotiator which was uh, some kind uh, some sp uh, external spe specialist negotiator uh, uh, that was saying i we would be allowed to pay you 780000 dollar and what was the response against that uh, amount Let's see. How can I ex uh, accept that uh, seven hundred eighty thousand dollar? It's like I work for nothing. How can collect money in a couple of? Uh, you can just collect that money in a couple of hours, and you need to take it seriously. If you will, uh, if we will release our blog, students' records, data. I'm 100% sure you will lose more than our price. We, what we asked, okay, 
so they are this damn sure if they will release the data they will release the information then the reputation of the company will be damaged and they will lose a lot of revenue students will not enroll on in their organization on their university okay so they were uh, just uh, um, totally denying yes this amount is very very low they cannot accept it okay when they they said just uh, buy some mcdonal for their employee with that amount okay and in the last of the negotiation they are saying like uh, you are uh, uh, earning 4 to 5 billion per year okay and we are negotiating on the 1 uh, 1.54 or it cannot be below than 1.5 1.5 million okay and they just agree on the 1.14 million usd dollar and the university has to pay that amount to the hackers and then they uh, send the software which can decrypt um, their encrypted data which they attacked with the help of the ransomware okay and uh, the next day university paid to 116.4 bitcoins to the networkers electronic wallets and then they just got the key and the uh, software so uh, just here is a question arise when such a big university even the big companies well equipped with the uh, highly secured or uh, uh, with the uh, advanced devices they are using security services they are using still they are under attack and what do you think what could be the possible solution for such kind of attack i need answer from your side about it okay and follow me on the cyber security prism and get the notification for the interesting and informative session also they share that session with your friends and group members so that they will be able to understand even if we are using a uh, uh, highly secured devices services then still we are under attack and what are the precautions you can take you need to find out the solutions for it okay and in the next session i will discuss about what are the vulnerability assessment steps see you in the next session namaste